Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to get the pulmonary veins from the transesophageal axis. In order to get the left pulmonary veins, both of them at the same time in one view, in my opinion, the best and the most easiest method to get them in one view is to start with the long axis view, which is almost at 120 degrees. This long axis view will show you the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, aortic root, and the snake aorta part of the RVOT. It is like the personal long axis view, but from the uh, mid esophageal axis. Here in the left hand, we can see the simulator uh, based image. You can see the same structures here. From this view, what I need to do to get the left pulmonary veins is to just rotate to uh, the left of the patient, extreme left of the patient, which is anticlockwise. Step by step, now I'm cutting here the left atrium and here is the left atrial appendage. I will continue rotating to the left of the patient. Then I will cut both pulmonary veins at the same time. I can get the left upper pulmonary vein and left lower pulmonary vein. Here is the left upper and left lower pulmonary vein. Inverted V-shaped pattern. This is a very easy uh, way to get the left pulmonary veins, both of them at the same time. And here is usually the upper and here is the lower. So 120 degrees and then to the extreme left of the patient or uh, anticlockwise rotation. Now we will go to the right pulmonary veins, right upper and right lower pulmonary vein. In order to get them in one view, we have to start with the short axis, base view which, uh, from the middle of the axis, which will show you the left atrium, interatrial septum, right atrium, tricuspid valve, RV, pulmonic valve, and here is the three cusps of the aortic valve. Here is anterior because what's here near to the probe, the probe tip is at the esophagus. So what's near to the probe tip is posterior. Here is the left atrium and here is the uh, right coronary cusp. Left coronary cusp will be always to the left and here is the non-coronary cusp demarcated with the interatrial septum. So what I need to do here is to rotate to the right of the patient or clockwise rotation. Here I'm rotating like that. Still here I'm cutting the left atrium. Here is also, I can see the left atrium in the simulator image. More. More. Now I'm cutting both right pulmonary veins at the same time. Again here is the right upper pulmonary vein. Here is the right lower pulmonary vein. Again V-shaped, inverted V-shaped pattern, the same as the left pulmonary veins. So in order to make it easy for memorization, the left pulmonary veins, 120 degrees and then to the extreme left. The right pulmonary veins, 45 degrees and then to the extreme right. Again, to make it much easier, 45 degrees, 40 has R, so it will go for the right pulmonary veins. 120 degrees has no R, 120 has no R, so it goes for the left pulmonary veins. I hope that was easy to remember and uh, I'm waiting for your feedback and comments. Thank you so much.